Okay, Bismillah. Okay, folks, welcome to our GCSE class. This is a part of the lesson that we didn't get a chance to finish off because we ran out of time. So I'm sitting here now in the evening and we're going to be doing this uh, this last clip, clip 103. We did start clip 103. That was expanding simplifying brackets. That was, a, that was the single brackets part of it. And combine single brackets. Now we're looking at the last part of clip 103, which is the expanding and simplifying. And we've got six sections here to go through. I'm going to select some questions for me to go through, and then we're going to leave some for you to do as well. So let's see how we get on with this video. Okay. Let's get started without any further delay. All right, let's move on with the mouse. Okay. Right. The blue pen. It's made a bit bigger. I'd like it to be nice and big so we can do the work nicely. That looks beautiful. Okay, it gets a bit fast here. A bit fast and furious. Okay, sorry about that. There you go. Lovely. Okay, let's see if we can get it towards that side. Here we go. Now, let's expand and simplify double brackets. We need to know where we're going to start. We're going to start here with the first part of the first bracket. So what we're going to do, I'm going to highlight it for you to show you what we're doing. So we're going to start with this element here, the x, and we're going to multiply it with the both parts of the second bracket. So it's going to be x time by x, and then x time by plus 2. And plus is not less to be. Okay, that's going to be the first part of the multiplication that we're going to be doing. So, okay, we've got x time by x. I'll write it all out for you, all the different steps, so there's no confusion and it helps for the person learning this for the very first time. x time by x will give us x squared. Next, we've got x time by plus 2. So we've got x multiplied by, whoops. Plus 2. Now, the answer here will get a sign in between them based on this question. If we have x and we multiply by plus 2, the answer is plus 2x. So this plus sign, I haven't copied it from here or here or any other reason. This plus has been generated as a result of the calculation itself, the sign coming from the calculation. Okay, that was the first part of the calculation we're going to do. Okay, now we're going to start with the plus 3, the second item of the first bracket. And we're going to multiply that now by the first item and the second item. So x time by x, and then x time by plus 2. So let's do that over here. Can we choose the thickness now? Okay, right, let's change the color. So plus 3 times by x. Plus 3 times by x. Again, look at the signs, folks. We have a plus 3 times by x will give us plus 3x. So the signs here are being generated from the question that we're doing. Next part, plus 3 times by plus 2. That's the last part of the multiplication. So it's plus 3 multiply that by plus 2. Okay, a positive number times by another positive number just gives you another bigger positive number, plus 6. Now what we need to do, now that we've multiplied out the brackets, uh, this first item with both items, the second item with both items, okay, we color-coded it. Now what we're going to do now, we are now going to find out what is similar terms. So we have a plus 2x. This is a like term with plus 3x. These are both x terms. This is x squared, so that won't simplify anything here at the moment. And this is a plus, which is a numerical term, which won't simplify either. So these two will simplify. Let's simplify them. So we have here plus 2x and plus 3x. So that gives us a total of okay, let's plus 5x. 
Okay, x squared, let's copy it down. x squared, these two become this, and plus is also gets copied down because there's nothing else to simplify with. So x squared, add all of this to plus 5x, add the 6. So that is my final answer for question 1a. Okay. I'm going to do... Now these questions are nice and straightforward. The rest of them are on this same section here. They are very similar to the one I've just done. So I'm going to quickly skip to section 2. Here we've got different style of questions, different signs and stuff, so we can also confirm all these. You should now be able to do one of these, these questions. I'm going to now move on to question number 2. Okay folks, so I'll come back to part 2. So expand and simplify. Now, we have got like different combinations of plus and minus, minus and plus. So we're going to do two of these questions here and leave the rest of you to and move on to the next section. So let's see which question we're going to choose now. We'll do the first one. So A, we have a plus and a minus here. And then we do question C, which has a minus and a plus. And that will give us enough space to do them. Okay. So for A, we're just going to section up some space. Okay, and for C, I'm going to section up some space. Okay, so we're not looking at this question for the moment. We're looking at question A over here and question C over here. Okay, here we go. Question A. Let's do the same technique as the previous question. We're going to start first of all with the first element, which is the x, and we're going to multiply by each element of the second bracket. So x has to be multiplied by x. And you have to also then multiply by the minus 2. So, let's do that. Okay. So, oh, that color is not coming out too nicely. So, let's choose that. So, x times by x plus 1. Let's write that down. This x time by this x, that's what we call multiplying out the brackets. Now these two elements are both positive by default, because we've got no sign in front of them. So x time by x will simplify down to x squared. Why? Because this has a power of 1 and that has a power of 1. Next, x, the first element, multiplied by the second element, which is what? A minus 2. So let's write that down. So x multiplied by minus 2. Now when you do x times by minus 2 here, you multiply by positive by negative, you have different signs, that are inherent positive, that's a, a, like a, a, by default, and that's minus, so you get a minus 2x. This is where a lot of students make mistakes in the examination with their signs. They don't take care that they're multiplying by negative numbers, they're not looking at the rules, they're just multiplying numbers themselves. Because that's the first part, the first element. Let's change the highlighter. Now we're going to start with the second element, which is plus 5. So first of all, we've done x times by everything over here, now we've done 5 times by everything. So the 5, we're going to have to multiply it now by the x, and we're going to re highlight it, and, and the minus 2. So let's have a look at that. So 5 times by x. So we have plus 5 multiplied by x. So that will give us plus 5 times x will give you, again, until it's own sign, plus 5x. Okay, uh, right next, we're going to do plus 5, and then multiply that by the minus 2. So I'm just going to do it over here, so I'm crashing into the symbols and pictures. Plus 5 times by minus 2. Okay, and that will give us a total of, now here we have two different signs, we have a positive times by a negative number, when the signs are different, the answer is always minus. Minus 10, 5 times by 10, minus 10. Now, what we need to do now, now that we've multiplied out successfully the brackets, we need to simplify. So we simplify like terms. So we say this term minus 2x is a like term with plus 5x. They're both x terms. The x squared doesn't, doesn't combine in the else because there's no other x squared terms, nor does the minus 10. So these two will simplify and that will give us a value. 
So let's have a look what we got now. So we have x squared, let's copy down. Minus 2x plus 5x, I owe you 2x and I have 5. So I will have, I guess I'm going to write over here, I will have 3x. Okay, and minus 2 is just plus literally just copy down. Because there's nothing else to be right now with. And that's that question done. So we have plus and a minus. Now we're going to do one of the minus and the plus. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, we have here. Let's have a look. We have a look. So we first of all, we start with the first element x. We're going to multiply that by the first element of the next bracket and then also the second element, which is plus 3. And let's get kind of cracking with that. So x times by x. Okay, I'm just going to quickly then do x times by plus 3. I'm going to simplify them in a bit. x multiplied by plus 3. And then we're going to have to look at uh, Now we multiply the x's with both, we are now going to multiply the minus 1 now, with both. So, remember you are multiplying minus 1, don't just do the 1, that's a common mistake. So minus 1 times by x, minus 1 times by x. And then we do minus 1 times by plus 3. Minus 1 times by plus 3. Right, let's work these things out. Let's see what we get. So x times by x, that will simplify to x squared. x times by plus 3 will give us plus 3x. Then we have minus 1 times by x, that will give us minus x. We have minus 1 times by plus 3, that will give us minus 3. Now what we need to do again, we need to simplify like terms, collect like terms. So the plus 3x matches the minus x, because they're both x terms. So we can combine those. Okay, and this one won't combine with this, because there's no other terms to combine with it. So let's see what we get. So we can copy the x squared down. Oh, x squared, well, that's just got a bit too crazy. Okay, let's try that once more, the x squared. Say that. Plus 3x minus x. I have 3x, I owe you 1x, so I will have, I'll be left with 2x. Okay. And we have minus 3 left over, so let us copy down over here. And without further delay, that is the end of that question. So we've done a question from number 1 and 2 from number 2. We are now going to move on to question number 3 where we have double negatives. We're going to do one from there. Let's, let's move on. Okay, welcome back. We're looking at question three. The, all of these questions are similar style, so I'm going to do one to give you an idea how we do it. So here we have both minuses in the brackets. Let's see how that fits the answers. So again, we start with the first element, which is the x. We multiply it by each element of the other bracket. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to say x times by x x times by x. Oops. And then we're going to do x times by, not 4, but minus 4. Take care of the sign. So we have x times by minus 4. We'll simplify them in a bit, folks. So just please hang on. Uh, okay, that's we've done the first element time by those. Okay, now we're going to change the highlighter. We're going to start with the second element, which is minus 3. And multiply we'll that by the x, and that by the minus 4. So, let's have a go at those. Remember, we're multiplying minus 3 by everything. Minus 3. So now we got minus 3 
time by x, which is the first jump, then minus 3 times by minus 4, and we'll do over here. Now let's simplify these. So x1 by x will give us our x squared. x times by minus 4, we have a positive time by negative, the signs are different. So we will give us a generator negative answer, that will give you minus 4x. Minus 3 times by x, that's positive, this is negative, positive by default. It's got no sign in front of it, so different signs, the answer will always be minus. Oops, so it's supposed to be going to blue. Pardon me, folks. I'm going to keep the color coding running, so it makes sense. So that gives you minus 3x. And then we have last but not least, minus 3 times by minus 4. The signs are both the same, so the answer will be positive. Now we need to go to the part of the question which involves us simplifying. So minus 4x matches the like term with minus 3x. So we can now add them together. But the x squared just gets copied down. This is nothing else we simplify it with. And the minus 4x and minus 3x, I owe you 4 and I owe you 3x, so I owe you 7x. And the plus 12 gets copied down because there's nothing else to simplify it with. And that's the end of section 3, folks. All the rest of the questions are the same. I'm moving on to section number 4. Okay, section number 4 is similar to sections 1 and 2 and 3. I'm going to move straight on to number 5 and 6. I'm going to finish the exercise. And then I'm going to go to bed. Okay. Okay, folks, we're back. Right, let's have a look. Highlight it. Expand and simplify. Now we got here, before we just had x and x, now we've got 2x times by 2x. We've got numbers next to the x's as well. So let's see if that makes any difference. It shouldn't be making a difference. Apart from the calculation, the answer we're going to get, and the method is the same. So we are going to start with the first element, 2x. And we're going to multiply that by each element in the second bracket. That's how we multiply double brackets. So we can say here, uh, 2x multiplied by 2x. Then we have 2x multiplied by plus 1. Okay, and then we're going to have, now we're going to do the second one. Now we look at the second element of the first bracket and multiply that by each item in the second bracket. Okay. So, we are going to have, let's actually... Now let's do it. That looks better. Now we have plus 3 times by 2x. And then we have plus 3 times by plus 1. Let's simplify this right now. 2x times by 2x, 2 times by 2 will give you 4. x times by x will give you x squared. We have 2x times by 1, that will just give you simply 2x. Okay, and then we swap color. And plus 3 times by 2x, that will give you plus 6x. And plus 3 times by 1 will give you plus 3. So we're going to simplify like terms. The like terms are the x terms, they are similar. So we can add them up, simplify that. So 4x squared stays as 4x squared, that doesn't get any simpler. 2x plus 6x will simplify to 8x. And the plus 3 just gets copied down. And we finish that question. Okay, right, we are going to do one that doesn't have x's in it, it has e's in it. Let's see how that one goes. Let's try question C now. So I'm going to try question number C. So this question here is for you to try. And this one I'm going to add this one I want. So let's have a look how that one works out. 
So we start with the yellow highlighter, we start with the first element E, we're going to multiply by each element in the second bracket. So let's have a look. So we say E time by 3 and E time by minus 4. So E time by 3. We have E time by minus 4. Okay, then we're going to do the second color. Go to the rubber first. Okay, and then we can now change. So, we got minus 3 now. We multiply by 3 and multiply by minus 4. Let's do those now. Alright. So, we have minus 3 times by 3 and minus 3. No, minus 4. Remember it's minus 3, not 3. So we have minus 3 multiplied by 3. So we have minus 3 times by minus 4. Okay. Let's simplify these now. So e times by 3, that will give us 3e squared. E times by minus 4 gives us minus 4e. Okay. Minus 3 times by 3 will give us minus 9e. Okay, so minus 4e, minus 9e, and the last but not least, minus 3 times by minus 4. The signs are both the same, so the answer will be plus 12. Now we need to simplify like terms. Like terms of the E terms because they are like to each other. Okay, now the rest of it gets copied down. So the 3 E squared gets copied down. Oops, getting a bit excited there. Okay, and then minus 4 E minus 9 E. I owe you 4 E's and I owe you 9 E's, so I owe you altogether 13 E's. And then the plus 12 just copied down, and we have finished that question. Okay folks, this is the last part section of this particular clip, clip 103b. We're going to do one or two questions from here, and then I want to leave you folks to do the rest yourself. So let's have a look. So we are looking at expanding and simplifying double brackets, but just the letters are getting, getting more and more written in each, each bracket now. Nothing to worry about folks. So, so we're going to start off with the 2x. We're going to multiply by each element. So we said 2x multiply by the 3x. Then we have 2x multiplied by the plus 2y. Okay, once you multiply the blue, this, this 2x with both elements there, you must then change to the second element and multiply that by both parts of the second one. First part and second part. So now we're going to have plus y, multiply that by 3x, and then we have plus y times by plus 2y. So right up here. Plus y, multiply that by plus 2y. Right, let's get cracking with this. So 2x times by 3x will give us 6x squared. 2x times by 2y, sorry, they must have plus, will give you plus 4xy. The 2 times, and the xy simplifies that. Okay, next. We have y times by, sorry, we have y times by 3x, so that will give us 3xy. And we have y times by plus 2y, that will give you plus 2y squared. So let's see if we can simplify anything here. Okay, and we find out that yes, we can simplify these two terms because they are both xy terms. So let's simplify that. So 6x squared just copy it down. 
4xy plus 3xy, they're both combined to give us 7xy and plus 2y squared. Now in this particular answer we got two sets of y squared terms. That doesn't matter, that is the answer. Okay, we are going to do one. Okay, in this small video we're going to be looking at question 6c. Okay, let's have a look. Have a look at that. Let's get to one side. There it is. Now, question 6c, here we go. So we have 4e times by 2e and 4e times by minus 2f. That's the first part of our calculation. So we have 4e multiplied by 2e. So it's the first element multiplied by each of the elements here. So 4e times by 2e will give us 8e squared. Then we have 4e times by minus 2f. That will give us, 4e times by minus 2f will give us minus 80f. Now we're going to switch to the second element of the bracket and multiply that by both of them. Now we'll get you a minus 3f, do that over here, multiply by 2e. And then we have minus, so that will give us what? So minus 3f times by minus times by 2e will give you minus 6ef. Then minus 3f has to multiply by the minus 2f, the last element. So minus 3f multiply by minus 2f. Now what we have here in this particular question, we have this, both signs are the same, so that generates a positive answer. So that gives you plus 6f squared. Now what we need to do, we need to simplify like terms. Now this 8EF here is a like term with a minus 6EF there. With the rest of them, you just copy them down. So we have 8E squared is the final part of my answer. That doesn't simplify. These two here, they do simplify. Our minus 8EF and minus 6EF gives you minus 14EF. And then we have plus 6F squared. Okay, folks, that's the end of that question.